Oh man, what do I do? All right, so let me show you where we're at here. I, if you saw the, the video where I put the, the frost-free spigot out here in the barn, I was digging the trench and backfilling with the tractor, and I tapped the door with the bucket on the way out on accident and uh, hit that, well, it tore the whole track off. So I have to fix that for sure. Yes, hi, George. And then back here on the back side of the barn, this door has not been on since we moved in. This, this is all, I painted this with some deck stain because see all that wood all rotted out up there. And that's what happened. It rotted right through and, and it wasn't, none of this is treated. That's a, actually one of the trusses. And so, uh, the, you know, the, the bolts and everything that hold the track up just fell right out. So here's the door laying on the ground. I started fixing it up, putting some new wood on it. This was also, not treated wood, um, which is fine because the door should be dry on the inside anyway. So I'm also using not, not using treated wood on this um, to repair it. So I have to fix this door, put new wood on this, um, get the, the hooks and, and, and rails and everything put back up uh, in the barn here and um, get this barn door hung because it's getting, getting cold. So let's go ahead and get started on the, fixing the other one first and then we'll get to this one later. It's another day here we're in the in the light It'll be a little easier to work so got the barn door uh, pieced together most of it I have some trim and things to put on still and the wheels uh, the, uh, the actual rollers there to put on the top but uh, the door itself is is pretty much uh, screwed back together with new wood uh, up here we've got a little bit of work to do so we got all this rotted out wood what I want to do is put a new two by six up here uh, across there a couple two by sixes that we treated so then I also have this piece on the inside of the truss here and I'm trying to keep you out of the light because you won't be able to see but I'm gonna put a, a couple pieces of wood on the inside of this uh, right up here so that that uh, that two by six I put on the outside has something to screw to because that uh, piece of the joist is so rotted out I mean, just these sections right here I'm afraid that whole joist is gonna split when I start hanging hanging stuff on it and it's even worse over here so I'm gonna try to reinforce that that joist on the inside and then get my new new wood up here then we'll start to get our box rail put up on the outside here Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we've got the, uh, the backer uh, board up there that's gonna support the rail that will hold the door. So we've got that, the two two by sixes, that's all treated lumber. Um, I put two lags into these spots right here because they go into poles, um, actual posts for the barn. And then one uh, of the shorter lags in through these other spots that just goes through the joists as well as uh, that backer board that I put on the other side to support everything. So kind of sandwich everything together, one down here as well. So that should be a, a real good support, I think, for this. This is uh, um, hopefully will keep this stuff from rotting and uh, keep this thing secured up for many, many years. So the next thing we're going to need to do is get our, our rails laid out. I'll show you what I found out here in the dirt and see if we can put this together and make a door out of it. All right, so what I have is three pieces of this box rail that I found out here. I don't know if this is what was up there before or not. Some of it's a little bit mangled up. You twist it out, and this end's really really mangled up here so I might need to cut this section off but I think even with cutting that off I'll have enough to cover this whole spot and, and have enough for the door to roll on so uh, we'll get the saws all out first and cut the bad section off and try to straighten some of this out a little bit and let's see if we can uh, get this mounted up All right, so there are two different types of connectors that go on this uh, box rail. So this is a, a splicer. Um, it has the two bolts that actually tighten down. So this will go right in a joint like this, uh, where it can kind of clamp onto both of those and hold them in place from sliding out uh, when the door is moving back and forth over time. And then you have your standard um, clamps here, or brackets, and this just goes anywhere you need support. So I'll add one of these at each end, and then with uh, two of these style in the middle, I think that should be enough to, to hold up our, our rail here. All right, so I bought some of this, uh, looks like what, what you would call J-channel. Um, same kind of thing you'd put on siding around windows and things like that, this is metal. And so I, I took a few of the screws out. I'm gonna put this along the top here before I get the wheels put on the door. And uh, I'll trim, I only have a couple pieces of this. I don't have enough to do the whole thing, but this just will hide the rough edge of the metal. So we'll get that put on and then put our screws back in here. I'll put a couple pieces around the edge, just what I have. And then I'll have to add some more later on. Okay, so we're ready to get our brackets put on for the wheels. All right, so this bracket here, and this is gonna hold the, the carriage, and it's just, the whole door just kinda hangs from this, like this. So the bracket actually will go underneath here. But I'll go ahead and mark from the top where the holes are gonna be. We'll drill, th drill through our metal here, and then it comes with the kit here. Comes with all the bolts we need to, get this thing installed nice flush carriage bolts so we'll get this drilled out and tightened in
finally we have a barn door. We have two working barn doors on each side of this pole barn now. So, uh, man, is it going to be a <laughs> huge blessing for us this winter. Uh, last winter it was cold in here. It got windy. The wind, wind comes right off that field from the west and it blows right in here. All the snow and rain gets all over everything. I can't keep stuff dry. The haze gets wet. It's, it's, a, it's a mess. So there is some finishing touches I still need to do. I, I do need to get some trim up. Um, on the side here. I'm going to trim out the each side of the door as well as the top. There's also a metal flashing that goes over the rail that I need to install. Um, that'll keep it from rotting away again, which is what happened last time. Uh, and so uh, a few finishing touches. I got to get some latch, latches and stuff like that on it. Uh, it also, this, this barn door on this side is about 18 inches off the ground. So there's a big gap at the bottom. So I may put like a plywood skirt or something along that side. This is just a, the slope of the barn is just lower on this end than it is on the other end. And so there's just a, an extra big gap there. But uh, still a huge blessing to have the door installed. And I uh, won't have to worry about snow blowing in here. And with the animals giving birth, I've got pigs that may give birth this winter. I've got goats that may give birth uh, later on in the winter time, early spring. And so we need to, we need to keep that wind out of here. Uh, I still have some other finishing touches to do on this barn to really bring it up to standard. And uh, then I can start working on pastures. So. Overall, this project was uh, fairly inexpensive because I had a lot of materials here. I did spend about $70 on the wheel kit um, and some lumber and a few other odds and ends, some of those brackets and stuff like that, bolts and things. Um, so about $70 or $80 I think I spent at the farm stores getting this stuff together. Um, not too bad though overall. And so hopefully this helps somebody out if you're looking to build or rehang a barn door. It's not a difficult task. Uh, I did this all by myself as far as even lifting the barn door up. I struggled a little bit, but uh, uh, I did get it in there and, and up and hung. So uh, definitely something you can do by yourself. Don't forget to hit thumbs up, guys. Reach down and tap that thumbs up button for me. Every video makes a huge difference uh, if you get that thumbs up from you guys. Throw your comments down below. What do you think? What I do wrong? What I do right? If this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel, reach down below, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell next to it. That gives you notifications whenever we post new content. It's important to do that. If you've been subscribed for a long time, make sure you hit that bell as well. You may have been unsubscribed from notifications. Uh, that change that happened a, about a year or two ago uh, with YouTube, um, you may not be getting notifications anymore. So make sure that uh, you're set to, to receive those. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.